All right, everybody, here is system test 46. So, <clears throat> I don't, what I did is I just swapped out and two of the devices and put two new ones up. And you'll see it in just a minute. But for now, let's go over the devices. There's zone one, I still got the FCI MS2 up. And the reason why I still have this up is I'll explain to you in just a minute. Actually, I'm gonna explain that right now, because over here on zone two, yep, that's right, ladies and gentlemen, I now have an FCI MS6. This pulls just like the NBG ones. So, inside the pull station, there's like a metal tab that holds this shut, and when you when you pull this down, it releases from the metal tab, and it causes the panel to go into an al to alarm. So, and this device is actually a little bit hard to pull. Uh, up here, swapped out the. GXS and I put my system sensor P2W up. It's on code 3 medium volume. And this thing is actually pretty loud. Coming over here, NAC1. Still got the system sensor mass up, but I swapped out. I changed the tone on the device, and you're going to find out what tone I set it on when I set it off. And as you can see, I removed the sync module because <clears throat> I'm, it's probably not really necessary to use it in every system test. The only time I would use the sync module is if I had like a mechanical horn or a vibratone or something that could not code itself. Like for an example, I'll be getting an a Wheelock EHEL1 horn, and that can only do continuous. So I would code it to code 3 with the sync module. Yeah. By the way, this pull station, since it has pigtails, it was kind of a pain to wire up. Because when I thought I wired it up right at first, the alarms went off when the pull station was not even activated. So, I don't know why, but I fixed that. And there's two other wires in there. I have wire nuts on them, just for safety. This pull station, it takes a, it takes a PK625 key, which I have. Right here. Yep. So I now have a pull station that would take the FCI key. Unlike the MS2, that pull station takes... My, my MS2 actually takes a Cat30 key because I think the, the person that I bought it from had to... The original lock might have broke, and he had to replace it. So, yeah. All right. This is time to begin the test. This time I am wearing hair and protection because these two devices are actually pretty loud and I don't want to destroy my hearing sorry about that I just dropped my keys anyways we're gonna go ahead and start off by pulling 
the FCI MS2. Everybody ready? In five, four, three, two, one. you guess that the mass was on sweat frequency, you're right. This and the spectral advance are actually quite an in interesting combo. Now we're going to go ahead and pull the MS6. Everybody ready? This is going to be kind of hard to pull with one hand, so Everybody ready? In three, two, one. Okay, that was kind of weird. Anyways. Those two devices are actually pretty loud. Now before I end the video, I'm gonna key activate both pull stations. But I'm not gonna be setting them off as long this time. All right, everybody ready? We're gonna start by key activating the FCI MS2. Everybody ready? In five, four, three, two, one.
Now we're going to key activate the MS6. Everybody ready? In five, four, three, two, one. This is going to be it for System Set Test 46, everybody. I hope you enjoy it. Remember to always check out my other fire alarm videos, and I will see you next time. But before I end the video, I'm going to show all of you what the MS6 looked like inside. So I'll just disable this real quick. So that we can show you. you just open it up like this. See, that's your inside. You got the model number. Model number is MS6. Right here, here's your switch. And this is the metal tab, which holds the pull station in place. And just like I said, when you pull down on it, this metal tab right here, it moves this way, and it releases the front of the pool station, causing the alarm to go off. It's actually pr it's actually a pretty cool pool station, I do have to say. So anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. Remember to always check out my other fire alarm videos. I will see you next time. By the way, I'm going to be trying to upload system tests every Tuesday. Unless I have to work, then I will have to push it to the next day. Or unless something else changes. But I'll try my best. Alright. Peace out, everybody. See you next time.